Welcome back to TikTok Rack Reactions. It's me, yours truly, the Noam Chomsky of Honkers, Dalton Pruitt. Well, folks, the world has once again become enraptured by Osama bin Laden. The Zoomers have discovered or maybe rediscovered Osama bin Laden and his motivations for carrying out the 9-11 attacks. Uh, and here we have his fine pop star niece, Wafa Dufour, with uh, a, an excellent pair of Arabian Nights on her. And more on that in a minute. I want to, you know, I think this one requires a little backstory. And you'll have to forgive me, for my purview is boobies, not necessarily geopolitics. But I think this is pertinent information for, for this particular pair right here. Uh, from 1979 to 1989... The uh, the country of Afghanistan was engaged in a war with the Soviets. It was the Soviet-Afghan War, and the U.S. government was providing a lot of funding, a lot of weapons to the freedom fighters of that region of Afghanistan, the Mujahideen. And I think around 1987, it was to the tune of something like $630 million a year at that point. Uh, the Mujahideen were the underdogs. They were the hero of that story to the point where the movie Rambo 3 was actually dedicated to the Mujahideen. And uh, there's a great movie if you want more, uh, you know, you, more of this story, if you, want, if you want a cool movie to watch regarding this. Uh, Charlie Wilson's War, starring Tom Hanks and Philip Seymour Hoffman, a movie in which uh, Hoffman delivers a, a wonderful, almost unhinged performance uh, but that, that movie uh, gives you a lot of just what was going on at that time in terms of the U.S.'s relation to Afghanistan during that conflict. Um, and then following the Soviet-Afghan War, there was a, a brutal civil war in Afghanistan, after which uh, the Taliban took power and that allowed for the rise of uh, al the extremist group Al-Qaeda. Um, and then, you know, Os Osama bin Laden, I, I think, who was portrayed by the, the U.S. media as this sort of extremist cave dweller almost, was actually a billionaire. He was the son of a billionaire. He himself was very wealthy, well-connected to many oligarchs, corporations, organizations. And the, it's dubious, but he, at one point in time, he might have even had ties with the CIA. Uh, but he felt that uh, the U.S.'s involvement in many regions, their foreign policy, the way they would uh, create alliances and break them and destabilize and continue their imperialism, he found to be uh, an issue, which was his sort of motivation for carrying out the 9-11 attacks. And that's not to say I agree with that. I think 9-11 was kind of a rude thing to do, but it didn't come out of nowhere. Uh, you know, it wasn't just because they hated our freedom uh, that narrative is a technique utilized by uh, the U.S. mass me communications known as manufacturing consent, a term coined by Noam Chomsky, uh, which is the, the, the way in which U.S. media will convince its population to accept, uh, you know, whatever f foreign actions the, the government wants to take, which at that time was the uh, erroneous invasion of Iraq, which led to a 20-plus year war in which many died. There was much bloodshed. and It was a lot of senseless violence that kind of led to really nothing happening. Uh, anyway, so here we have uh, Wafa Dufour, the niece of Osama, uh, because I, and I, you know, I just, I just think it's interesting because Osama was a billionaire, very well connected, which means the rest of his family is as such. And, um, you know, Wafa Dufour here is also sort of like Saudi Arabian royalty, very beautiful, lovely pair of IEDs on her. Um, excellent complexion, you know, sunbathed, uh, love the, you know, the Arabian inshallahs that we have here. 10 out of 10 wood motorboat. 